Hey guys, this is just a follow-up video from my video on installing and setting up a WordPress website using Laragon. By default, Laragon doesn't have a great database management, but that's just my personal opinion. And what I like to use instead is something which you've probably heard of called PHP MyAdmin. I just think it makes the database management so much easier. So in this video, we're just going to go and add PHP MyAdmin to Laragon so we can use PHP MyAdmin with our local websites. And the good thing about this is when you migrate your local website to a live server, PHP My Admin just makes it that little bit easier. So let's get started with adding PHP My Admin to Laragon. Because at the moment, as you can see, when we click database within Laragon, it comes up with this. And you can still manage the database using this, that's fine. Um, I just think that by having PHP My Admin, it just makes things easier to use um so it's more user friendly i think and it's the same with many web hosting providers they do provide php my admin so by getting familiar with it locally you can also be able to use it on your web hosting provider so it's really easy steps to get php my admin installed so just open your web browser and we want to download php my admin to be able to add it to laragon so just go to php my admin.net slash downloads and you can just download the latest version here, PHP My Admin 4.9.7. So go ahead and click that, which starts the download. Open it up in your zip program. I'm using WinRAR, but it doesn't really matter what you use. And just click Extract to. Yeah, for now, you can just choose the desktop. And once that finishes, go to the desktop and we have PHP My Admin on the desktop ready to add. To Laragon. Next, we can click this button here, and what this root button does, it takes you to the root of your Laragon installation, which shows the list of your websites, and you can browse the code of each local website. So let's go ahead and go there. There are my two local sites currently at the moment. So just click Laragon, the next one down, go to ETC apps, and drag this extracted PHP my admin into this folder here. So then I usually just rename the extracted PHP my admin folder just to PHP my admin. So now that's been added to Laragon, so we can close that. And when we click database now, it will open PHP my admin locally. And by default, the Laragon username is root and the password is just left empty. So click go and we can view our databases on the left here. So that's all there is to add in PHP My Admin to Laragon. So now we have PHP My Admin in Laragon. In my next video, I'll be able to show you how to migrate your local site to your live website. And the reason I wanted to do this video first is because by having PHP My Admin, it makes that migration from local to live that little bit easier. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.